hey guys welcome back to the channel it's the oracle fairy we're gonna hop right in i feel like this is going to be a new love reading um i'm hearing new like new <laughs> um but we're gonna see what comes out first card we did have was the mother load uh, out here virgo energy prosperity jackpot success plentiful um some form of an accomplishment somebody may feel like having you is just a big accomplishment or like if they were to be able to have you is like it's, it talks about advantages too so somebody feels like having you in their life is like an advantage like something about somebody's moon sign somebody's sun sign could be your moon sign or moon sign could be your sun sign or i don't know or that something about y'all could have the same moon sign um instead their partner knows they're jealous of you and they regret the choices that they made somebody knows that their partner is like jealous of you rich boo so some of y'all this new person that's coming in you're about to meet them i'm hearing or you're going to meet this person they got a lot of money because the first card that i saw out was the mother load i feel like this is crazy because what i'm hearing right now the energy that i'm getting is the what's going to attract them to you or something like that is you don't need their money or like i'm not saying you don't need no help because maybe you do, but uh, maybe you don't. It's just like, it would be nice, maybe, or it would be extra, or like, maybe you was like, no, I need the help, but it's like, you're not like, it's like, you're not down bad over it, where it's like, that's the only reason why you would be like, connecting with someone, or like, you know, that's the energy that I'm getting, or I don't know, um, you're not a gold digger type of energy, and someone could be used to like, gold diggers, I don't know why I'm hearing that, um, I'm almost feeling like, I feel like I'm feeling this person's energy too, you make them feel very like, was she on the inside or something like that and this may be someone who's used to again i don't know if they buy people or like i don't know but i do feel like somebody got money rich boo you may be the rich boo i mean look oh, who's mad of course they mad and all the cards are pink so far so uh yeah you're very like feminine or something like that too soft i'm hearing someone really likes that about you um, somebody could re regret some form of choices that they made in the past. Um, artists, you could definitely be like an artist. Somebody likes your artistry is what I'm hearing. This could be an artist themselves, somebody who's very creative. They're always like constantly on the go or like changing things about themselves or just like putting it into their art or creativity. But I'm hearing for some of y'all, this is you. Like it's something that you do creatively that this person loves to watch or they watch you. And I ain't gonna lie, if you are like an artist of some sort, like this is why like you got holes mad and because it's like attracting like a certain type of like suitors into you. Don't want to like invest in you, your craft. It's like hoes mad. Like, what do you expect? We got to stand your ground. So yeah, you guys, it's like you're in this energy of like, you know what you deserve. I'm getting like you're not settling for less. And that's exactly what's going to invite this high value suitor into your life. And somebody already knows that um, if somebody was targeting you or coming at y'all sideways and you was just like this hoes mad energy, I feel like somebody that could be with somebody in a whole ass relationship knows that like this person is coming at you or like somebody has so much smoke for you because they jealous of you yeah you could be a virgo or it could be a virgo like their partner knows that like this person is hating on you or something like that or you could be attracting a virgo into your life maybe that fraud so again it could be a virgo that like is like being seen as like a fraud it's like their partner knows that they're jealous of you is what i'm hearing source say like it's obvious or something like that by the way that they're acting their partner knows them and they're seeing like that Either like a Virgo is doing this to someone or you could be a Virgo that's experiencing this. But I'm getting like, especially if like, I don't know if somebody was going through this one. Um, yeah, I feel like somebody's partner knows that like somebody is just, you make them feel intimidated. They're jealous of you. So they can't, it's something about them not being able to hide that around like a lover. It comes out more or something like that. Um, but yeah, you got like hoes mad with rejection was protection. Yeah, I don't know if somebody wanted somebody to like reject you. But we have inner child here. You're healing the inner child with star. You're definitely a star. And I feel like you could be in the public eye, but it's given with the star card energy, like healing the inner child with I love you here. And we have pink hair. That's beautiful. <laughs> so just know, baby, you're a star, regardless of what people may try to say about you with white lighter and healer. You're a star. You're a white lighter. You're of the light I'm hearing. You are literally like a star seed um you could definitely have pink hair remember I see, i'm seeing a lot of pink out here so it's letting me know like a lot of feminine energy and <laughs> that's what's attracting this energy of like abundance into someone's life not the color pink but i'm just getting like this feminine like and especially if you are the divine feminine is because you're literally like thriving in your feminine power is what i'm hearing like that venus somebody could even have like venus placements like libra taurus um but it's definitely talking about some form of prosperity coming in for you baby
Okay, so some of you guys, you could have been dealing with copycats that were trying to like mirror your energy. And this is what I'm getting like divine feminine. We all know that like when you're the blueprint, it's gonna be so many people that are getting like I'm getting that movie Keeping Up with the Joneses. Um, I don't know if y'all have ever watched that. Um, but it's with like Demi Moore, I believe. And they were like trendsetters, but they were moving to like neighborhoods and sell certain things, and like people would like copy, and like that's what I'm getting. Like somebody may be trying to keep up with the Joneses when it comes to you, but it's like they're like almost like because in a movie too like the neighbors around them was like damn near trying to keep up with them when they were the new neighbors they had everything new and it was like keeping up with like the joneses as the saying may be but it's like somebody may not even have it like that to be trying to like do what they see you doing it's giving like you can't compete when you don't compare people be trying to copy everything you do it says wants to be you and you have to understand it's because you inspire these people you are like a muse to like these people with tantrum and these are people who are throwing like tantrums because you're so much in your power and i feel like with that movie keeping up with the joneses and i only i just got that because it was like the girl in the story um the daughter and they all were like a, a, a family but they really wasn't they was all like under like a contract to like sell things look fairy baby <laughs> so yeah baby you the real deal and i feel like this is why people want to be like you and in the story she was like in high school and like all the other girls in high school if she had a lip gloss on if she had a lipstick on baby all of them was buying that same lipstick i feel like this is the energy i'm getting for somebody like you're a trendsetter and this is why somebody is like copying you they want to be like you you're very i'm just getting like feminine and authentic and raw i heard unapologetic you can you have like fairy energy too you could believe in fairies too i'm also getting like um you have like elementals that help you and um other creatures with the lion king remember who you are so again it's like you remember who you are on a spiritual level and this is kind of got people shook but i'm definitely feeling like for some of y'all you are definitely ascending to a higher level of love and this is why new suitors on a higher level are coming in um heard a new in a new bracket tacky bracket too shit <laughs> But with this fairy energy, I'm definitely getting like, um, somebody could even be like losing things. You could be kind of like, um, dainty, petite in stature is what I'm getting for someone. We got red hair. I was trying to let somebody with red hair before I came on here. Somebody definitely could have like red hair. I'm trying to feed the rest of these cards into here because I want to use this whole deck. But I do feel like, yeah, whoever you are. Okay, we got um, somebody really love, likes. I feel like you turn somebody on. It's, it says move your hands, take all of it. Okay, like somebody don't want you to run. <laughs> center of the center of attention. You're definitely like the center of attention right now. I'm not gonna lie. I just heard it comes with the territory. This is why people out here are copying you because they feel like you're the center of attention. So if you're doing what you're doing and you're the center of attention, maybe I can do what you do too and become the center of attention. But it don't work like that. I'm feeling like you're gonna be. It's almost like humbling people without even trying to because it's like they could be trying to do what you're doing but they're not getting the same results they're not being received the same they're not being seen the same because they aren't i heard they can't sing the same it's like you could be like a, a music artist and you come out with a song that somebody trying to like do something very similar but then it just it like it, it i'm being like if it, it what is that called i don't know it just doesn't do what they thought it was going to do like you're the center of attention and this could be why somebody's trying to move in like your essence is what i'm getting Somebody feels like you're the center of attention too. You can have people feel like it's too late. It is. <laughs> we gonna see. Yeah. So somebody may work in a warehouse. I do feel like you got somebody that this person has been thinking about like a sexual encounter with you. It says move your hands, take all of it. So you could work in a warehouse or this person could work in a warehouse. We got talked about you to someone who is loyal to you. So if your person works in a warehouse baby now <laughs> i feel like uh this gossiper could even work in a warehouse but somebody definitely was talking about you to someone who is loyal to you and i feel like whoever this person is loyal to you they're gonna come back and tell you what was being said because guess what i feel like you're this rising star like somebody here like you're really healing for someone you could have helped someone to heal you could be in a public uh eye you're an influencer again at that that energy of people wanting to keep up with someone who's just like you're just doing a damn thing is what i'm getting and doing it and doing it and doing it well mm -hmm. that's what i'm getting like somebody's just a center of attention as you fucking should be and you got so many people wanting yes like i feel like somebody can even be being pushed towards like i don't know what level of fame but baby you're being pushed to be seen we got half of me by rihanna when i get this energy that i y'all know i love me some riri that's my favorite artist and i feel like this is the energy of people judging you from the outside and looking in when i hear this song like people may see you because she was saying in this song you saw me on the television hanging up my dirty linen you're entitled to your own opinion 
sit and shake your head at my decisions. I guess the kind of songs that I've been singing make it seem as if I'm always winning. So that's the energy I'm getting. Like people may be looking at you from the outside, looking in like, oh, you on a pedestal, you up here, you doing good. You got this going on for yourself. It is. And like, almost like I get that energy of eat the rich type of energy. Like, I don't know you, I'm not saying you rich or nothing, but it's like people may just have less, like they feel like you got it going on. They just feel like you just maybe privileged or I don't know, or this lifestyle that you're about to step into, but it's only, they're seeing half of the battle. I'm feeling like everybody got their own scars, wounds, things that they go through. And it's like these people may be looking at you from the outside, looking in, I'm hearing for some of y'all divine feminine, these were even like people that you dated in the past. They didn't even treat you how you were supposed to be treated. People who wanted to court you were low key treating you less than because they felt like you already get complimented enough. You already get spoiled enough. You already get doted upon. People already, you got everybody that wants you. So why would I show you that I want you too? So that could hype you up even more. It's just weird. You always, I'm feeling like an energy of someone like you could be this person that's in like the public eye, like you get a lot of attention, but it's like people only see the half of it. That's what I'm getting. Like they don't see what you really go through behind closed doors. Yeah. Something here is like, I don't know if it was like a false narrative going around about someone. Um, but you are this rising star. I feel like anything that was like falsely said about you is going to be proven to be wrong if that was the case. Told you they were a hater. So some of y'all could have had somebody that was in a situation that like told you someone else was like a hater. Like this person not really for you. I heard someone was hitting on your lights. They hate, um, this could be somebody of the opposite sex I'm hearing for some of y'all or the same sex, but like somebody could have came to you and told you that this person really like, don't like you. This person really be hating up her, hating on you under your nose. And, um, you, you're getting signs about who this person is. They're very false. And okay. We have turning on each other here. So it is a group of people who I feel like whoever came to you and told you about somebody else, they don't like this person for real. And this other person really don't like them for real. And this is why they're turning on each other. And this is why this other person came to you and told you that somebody was like, hey, no, you because they were cool with this person at one point. They don't like each other. And we got Leah, February and we have lesbian, gay, LGBTQ. So anyone that was involved in the situation, you or them or could be of the LGBTQ community. And I'm feeling like this is going to be confirmation for someone. But like I heard be careful of who you're telling things to, who you're getting close to, who you're opening up to, because you did have people who were literally under your nose that only were around you for your clout. I'm hearing for your light, for things that you could give to them to do for it's, it's giving opportunist energy and you're going to be like getting signs about this it says too deep too real for meaningless experiences or connections and this is what i'm getting for my divine feminist baby we're not sitting up here putting up with like flings and fucking people want to come in and play in our energies because baby we're past that i'm here we've ascended past that that's low vibrational as hell and like of a such a past timeline with big messy fallout so for some of y'all y'all gonna be seeing like a group or like people falling out like um i do feel like this was meant to happen it's like karmic retribution something about a father this can even be happening with like a family within a family um mm. again too deep too real for meaningless and i feel like this is also why you're going to be attracting someone who's on your same vibration and wants what you want to baby and this is because you not settling like in the past maybe you did used to entertain certain things and like i'll just see where this goes and we'll just go with the flow and like um even though you knew people didn't want what you wanted, they weren't in alignment with like, I feel like you're not doing that no more. And this got people like who want what you want. Now they're able to come in because you're standing in that frequency. I'm hearing you're no longer, what is it called? Compromising your frequency to people, please, basically. Because that's basically, essentially, that's what it was. Or you, I don't know, settling for less. Brown hair. You could definitely have brown hair or someone involved. We got Egyptian ties, ancestry, past life, inheritance, and gifts. Y'all definitely feel like some of you guys, you have, you were born in like Egypt, e Egypt in like a past life. And this is why you've always felt like a tie to Egypt. And like, I'm hearing somebody could have like a, um, what is that called? Like a Siamese cat. Um, your manifestations come to you quickly. Like you've always just been gifted because you have like a past life in like Egypt. Like you know shit, you don't know how. Um, but it's something about you needed to like look into that. Somebody can have Egyptian like like ancestry, whether like in the physical, like this is just like a spiritual tie. Um, but you do have the gifts and the inheritance that's being passed down to you. Um, something about the plagues I'm hearing too that's been going on. I'm hearing Egypt. It's strange what desire will make foolish people do wicked games. Um, or is it wicked people? I don't know. I hope that's the right lyrics, but that's wicked games. So somebody really is desiring you. I don't know if somebody is getting weird in this motherfucker or something or like 
people who desire you secretly could like do strange things just to almost like get your attention but then it kind of like backfires and it's just like it just leaves them look third party i don't know it could like go through go towards like third parties because they think that it's going to kind of get your attention or something and i feel like that's just not the case and divine feminine right now spirit is telling you that you are worth the way don't be out here just again like just wanting something or someone in your life to where you just putting up with anything or anybody i feel like right now you're just letting it marinate is what i'm hearing and it's something about what's coming in next it says it's going to be very abundant and then we said it says here you have a rich boo coming in so whoever this person is like they're i heard we gonna be straight we gonna be rich and ain't just like oh this is like no we're in this together is what i'm hearing you and this person y'all are going to be building some form of abundance and i told you the first card that i saw out where is it let me see because i think I, I don't think i put it up yeah, the first card that I saw out was the mother load. So somebody could even be like relocating or like, I don't know, something about a map. Somebody could be um some form of prosperity that's coming in. It says easy street. So I'm feeling like somebody's taking an easy like path, like not easy road or path, but it's given like the path of least resistance is what I'm hearing. There definitely could have been some form of gossip going around about a, like a, a situation that you were involved in or maybe even like your love life. But we got coming clean. With a change of heart. So you do have somebody that's like wanting to come clean about a situation. Like this person has had a change of heart. This could have been somebody who like was listening to some form of gossip. But I do feel like this is a... I don't know. I'm just keeping hearing like something that's newer. I don't know why I'm getting like a newer energy. Listen. Somebody could have gotten evicted or some form of... Oh, karmic couple targeting you. Wow, I didn't see. Because I had to turn this card around with evicted. Some of y'all, if it was a karmic couple like targeting you, you could be witnessing someone get like evicted or like losing like a home, some form of like stability, a foundation I'm hearing. And this is like their karmic, like when I said retribution, like something that's coming back around with this karmic energy that, you know, all these transits and shit. So high priestess, you definitely are in high priestess. You listen to your intuition with he or she secretly loves you and they know it so i feel like with this energy with the high priestesses and this coming out as well somebody knows that like somebody around them has feelings for you and maybe they weren't expecting this person to have feelings for you i heard a pillar something about a pisces high priestess energy could be significant um divine masculine so somebody um I feel like your divine masculine is hiding how they feel for y'all. They got secretly got feelings for y'all, but somebody else around them knows this. <laughs> he or she, he or she, or this could be, okay, so some of y'all, this is like, if you are the divine masculine watching, your divine feminine could have like love for you or feelings for you and somebody around her could know this. And if you are the divine feminine watching your divine masculine, whoever you're watching for, take it how it resonates, right? Because it says he or she secretly loves you and they know it. So someone around your person knows that they got feelings for you. And this person could be trying to like, I don't know if they're moving strategically because <laughs> they don't want this person to know. But we have divine masculine, no pain, no gain. A lot of enlightenment coming your way, masculine. As many of you are realizing that you were chosen. Um, and I feel like other people are becoming aware of the twin flame journey. It's something about that. Remember, okay, so this is crazy. So for some of y'all, it is your masculine who other people around them are aware that this person is hiding, that they like you or they got feelings for you or like something's going on is what I'm hearing. Um, this person may be on a twin flame journey. I'm not sure if they're aware of this or just like some form of enlightenment that's hitting this person that's aligning them with their true path. Um, it's going to be different for everybody, but it's something pertaining to letting go of control issues. That is a theme for the divine masculine. Okay. It's saying, um, so some of y'all divine masculines, they're very possessive. They have like a conquest for control. You need to drop that. No, 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 what? Because I love a little, you know, I love a little dominant, a little dominant daddy. <laughs> I don't know. Like that got to be like somebody's masculine. Sometimes it could be an over 18, 18. Somebody could be the age 18, 19. I don't know. It's sometimes something could be in like overdrive or like the 18th and 19th could be significant or any of those numbers. But um, I do feel that someone needs to stop always trying to con conquer and control every situation i feel like this is divine masculine energy like you something about you need to conquer and control self because it says he who controls others may be powerful but he who controls himself is mightier still so that's a quote and i feel that's significant for my divine masculines because it's something about you not needing to be able to control others or like the outcome of being able to control self that's what's going to get you what you're wanting um you can't control nobody but yourself so you, i don't know if the divine masculine is like they want you like to act a certain way or, or respond a certain way to them but it's like right now they're being taught to kind of control themselves there's something about a firearm somebody could even got like a firearm charge or somebody may own like a firearm um we got divine feminine here so okay so we got a message for the divine masculine and divine feminine here i'm gonna take these um divine feminine 
right now it could definitely feel like it's a lot that you're dealing with a lot of pressure i'm hearing this is why your your person is going to be sent in with you too um because there's something about your person seriously being your protector they're just, they're meant to lift like weight off your shoulders as well spiritually and physically but i feel like right now you could be in a very like lone energy or you feel alone it could even feel like things were falling apart but i feel like it's meant to drive you deeper into your soul drive you deeper into who you truly are again remember that lion king energy of remember who you are came out it's literally written on this card for Divine Feminine. It says, Lion King, remember who you are. We also have, I am Moana. So right now, this is all about rediscovery into who you are. I heard, give a fuck about what they think. With that Rihanna having me energy, you know that people are always going to talk shit no matter what. Or they're going to have their own opinions from the outside looking in. You know you. The Divine knows you. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter what you do. People are going to think what they're going to think. So right now, I feel like you're being told to drive deeper into who you are. You're not of the world, but you're in the world, right? You're, you're not of it you're in the world like you you're, you're not from this world and i feel like this is about like you being different do not conform to societal norms or what other people want you to be masculines or feminists whatever you're into or whoever you're around whoever you're programmed by or whatever i feel like this is your time to i heard you be you you be that trendsetter you be that light because honestly that's going to draw your person in even more you don't have to conform you don't have to be like everybody else i don't give a fuck if you felt like you met your twin and, and they had like a certain type of like okay maybe i'm not their type be yourself be yourself because then obviously that's not your per just be yourself I feel like your person is going to love you exactly for who you are 100% and you're not going to have to put on you're not going to have to act you're going to just be yourself whether that's you have a healthy whether you're masculine and feminine whether you're just 100% just feminine feminine I feel like you are not going to have to like I'm hearing like overcompensate overcompensate for your person like if people in the past may have told you you're a little too, yeah i just saw 2111 like i'm just getting this energy of you awakening to like who you truly are like your person is going to love you for like being this maybe you're a tomboy and maybe you are like feminine sometimes and it's a tomboy and other times i've talked about this i think i touched on this in my other reading but it's just giving me that energy of like be yourself like i feel like that's somebody's going to love someone for their balance or like for just who they are and like they're not going to want you to be like oh i want my person to just be overly like just be yourself is what i'm hearing whoever that is for you whether you are just I'm, I'm not a fighter i'm a lover i just want to be in this energy of love and i just want to like not argue it just be yourself is what i'm here if you don't know who that is this is time to find that and um i feel like right now you could be a little afraid but sources saying you do not need to make the pieces fit where they don't belong you're being guided to speak to your speak and listen to yourself listen to your truth um something about this inner calling you guys could be being called to like heal yourself those patterns generational patterns don't lose hope either especially in love i feel like right now you're being told not to be consumed by your past okay and you're being illuminated by the present so be aware of any form of illusions and do not play tit for tat right now do not play tit for tat because some of y'all y'all person is coming in or they already in y'all energy so you've been in this energy of tit for tat maybe you were hurt in the past and now you want some oh i'm gonna get back and i'm gonna, I'm gonna be this like no be yourself because that wouldn't that just be the damn thing you meet your person and you in this energy of get back and shit like just be just chill i'm here just vibe twin okay the rumors of cheating scandals are true okay so yeah it definitely could have been some form of like cheating scandals that somebody was involved in we have aries out here we got special occasions somebody may want to take like a special i'm here like date night or like invite you out on a special occasion you may have a special occasion coming up somebody could have found out about some form of like cheating rumors or like scandals like i heard somebody was hearing about it but maybe they didn't want to believe it or some shit damn i didn't expect for these cards to fall out there's a lot going on Mm -hmm. so you're gonna be finding out about like maybe somebody was actually like in a scandal or like cheating or something that like aries could be involved the libra can be involved or like any of these signs we got from enemies to lovers so yeah i don't know you could be an aries or a libra but i do feel like you could even have somebody that you were like into it with but like you and this person gonna be like going from enemies to lovers like i'm hearing like makeup sex like breaking up to makeup type of energy i don't know because I mean, it really this could be somebody that you were never with i'm getting like you could have been into i don't know but whole time like this could be like somebody that you're going to be with <laughs> dark childhood memories someone could be healing like childhood wounds or need to with ancestors ashamed of how they treated you so for some of y'all this could be somebody that right now you're looking at them as like an enemy or something i don't know but somebody is ashamed of how they treated you in a situation with losing their mind like yeah somebody could be being haunted by something that that I, they played a part in but I do feel for some of y'all, you got new things coming in. Like, people from the past know that they were so wrong. They're two-faced, don't trust it. And this is why I feel like you closed the door in the past. You know that people from the past, like, they had their chance and they blew it and they feelings. And this is why they in their feelings over you. And for some of y'all, I'm hearing, please hold out because this rich boo, you going to be so happy you ain't get these dusties the time of day. We're rushing in. Mm -hmm. Prayed on your downfall, um, watching your ascension and rising up 
to stand in your power. And I feel like, yeah, and now you got people wanting to rush in towards you. Some people were praying on your downfall while you were at the bottom. I'm hearing you weren't even your best self yet. Look, black magic. People using black magic to try to stop you from getting to where you're going. And black magic don't got to mean they're using candles or lighting candles. It can mean gossip. It can mean uh, manipulation, intimidation tactics, blackmail. And um, I feel like, too, you guys, please stop commenting bullshit up under these damn comments. Um, I know what the fuck I be talking about on my channel. Thank you. That, that's just a little side note for some of y'all who be trying to school the motherfucker like I don't know some of y'all be crazy in the comments but it says I was supposed to go against you but I fell for you in tower so it's almost giving me with this tower and I fell for you somebody had a tower as they were falling for you with no weapon formed against you shall prosper no weapon formed so I do feel if there was any type of energies of someone trying to like use black magic against you or use some form of manipulations to stop any form of like progression in your life that ain't gonna work anyway I'm feeling like somebody could have this could be that enemy from lovers thing like to lovers whoa we got a double tower out here damn near came out in reverse so somebody was trying to avoid this tower and i feel like the tower was their feelings for you because some of y'all this is who's going to be coming towards you and this is who, someone who was damn near going against you at one point or they were supposed to or somebody this could have been somebody that like um i don't know like Again, at enemies to lovers, like, you could have saw this person as being, like, maybe you don't know the full truth, but, like, somebody had to change your heart. It was saying, like, a change of heart. And I am feeling like you're going to get the truth in a situation. Yeah, this could have even been, like, in a work situation, termination, fire. Like, you could have not known why you got really fired from a job and, like, whole time. It could be something deeper. Like, maybe you could just, like, oh, I don't fuck with them. Like, this is, like, my, my enemy because it has something went down. But I'm feeling like something else, like, happened in the situation that you're going to be getting truth about. And this person was supposed to go against you. Like, maybe they told somebody else that they wouldn't fuck with you or they were going to go against you. Um, And it says, someone is secretly sending you good energy and protection. So, I do feel like for some of y'all, this is that person who kind of, like, want to come towards you or tell you something. Um, They sending you good energy. They, they, they sending you good vibes or something. Like, they really like you or center of attention. They're wondering, is it too late? So, for some of y'all, this is somebody from the past. Like, I don't feel like you dated them, though. So, it's still, like, a new person. I don't feel like this is somebody that, like... You was with this person. You already experienced them. They broke your... No, I feel like this is somebody you did not date. And this could be... It's a, this is somebody who feels like... I feel like they've always maybe either had a secret crush on you or if it wasn't that, it grew over time. Like maybe with this situation or them watching you and it's like this person feels like you're in the public eye. I'm getting that heavy or like a lot of people just pay... Even if you're not on like a platform, people just pay... Even if you're going to the mall, you can go to McDonald's. I'm feeling like you go to the car wash. People just be watching you like paying attention like you're just... Because I'm feeling like you're ethereal, like you're otherworldly and then people pick up on that from like your aura um something about blind hair could be significant the month of may we get so somebody definitely could have been having like hit, hidden like i'm getting like um what is it called hitting it what is it called hitting quit like it's giving like one night stands or flings or something like that it, i don't know like or this is what somebody wants it something something about the month of may or somebody's birthday could be in may with bad romance literally and this miscarriage for some of y'all you could have even miscarried in a situation with a past lover i'm getting because that person was having third party situations and this could even be what's like you found out about this or like what you're going to find out i'm getting that specifically for someone like it was something about like a loss of a child with bad romance like somebody definitely was not good for you it was like a bad romance or like a you could have even got pregnant by like a fling or something like that but like it wasn't meant to like something wasn't full i heard he didn't carry full term or something like that your ancestors and guys are about to end this and them vindication on the way so if somebody was being shisty in the background of your energy and they were trying to like almost like make you feel like they were for you and like get over on you this is why something happened or like something didn't come like something didn't play out full term with simping over you so some of y'all got like People that just in the background simping over you, friend. They want to be with you. I pretend to be uninterested and that I don't want it, but I do. Like, these are people who literally are wearing masks. Like, they don't want you. But I'm telling you, I, I'm seeing, like, a teapot when it's getting, like, real loud and it starts whistling, like, in a thing. I'm seeing, like, the, the top popping off of it. Like, I'm seeing, like, someone is, like, steaming. Like, they can't. It's karma tearing their ass up. Like, damn. So, somebody could even feel like they're going through karma because they're not telling you how they feel. Or, like, they, they, this could even be somebody who 100% felt like you were their soulmate or, like, they were supposed to come towards you or, like, reveal something towards you. To you, I'm even feeling like with this karma energy, it's just period. People who were doing you wrong, exes, lovers, and friends, family, people you don't know, all because you shine. It says you shine so divine, your golden hour. And this is why people. You know, it causes, it, you, your light irritates their demons. What can you say? What can I say? What did I say? Location. I'm here. Send me your location. Let's fight. I don't need no fighting. I don't even know the words. 
for you. Send me your location. Let's ride the version. I promise y'all I'm probably singing it wrong. <laughs> I don't need the time. Let's focus on let's focus on communicating because I, I don't know. So somebody could be having wet dreams about you. It says pay attention to your dreams with wet dreams. Now one one. Yeah, somebody could be even like afraid to tell you how they feel. This person having dreams about you and shit. Wet dreams. Won't you send me your location? Let's focus on communicating because I don't need no. no. <laughs> I'm fucking that song. <laughs> I know I'm fucking that song, though. Let me just stop. Shit. But I know I was channeling that. So, judging your circumstances, but you are the blessing in disguise. Somebody may have even judged you on, like, the season of your life that they came in on. That's why it's so important that you can't. You got to stop judging people. First of all, let's not judge books by their cover at all because you just never know. This could be somebody, like, people meet someone and they feel like this person ain't got shit going for themselves. And, like, this person owned the whole goddamn place that you sitting in right now eating at. It's like people may have treated someone like they were beneath them or, like, they, didn't, they weren't worth their time. They weren't worth courting or, like, you know practice makes perfect this could be somebody who's like literally about to like blow up off something that they've been mastering perfecting which i'm guessing is you guys or and i'm feeling like people definitely judge your circumstances before they even got to know you it says you will have a divine golden child together send me your location i just keep hearing that like somebody wants you to send them your location some of y'all are meant to like have a child with this new lover that's coming in mm -hmm. industry baby so some of y'all are like going into like the industry some type of forbidden fruit energy somebody could feel like somebody could be like i don't know if somebody was already in the industry like you could be meeting somebody that's like already in the like they already got like a foot in the industry or they're in the industry um in, in some type of industry that you're in, interested in um we got forbidden fruit and they don't it says they don't even like each other using one another fake so somebody could be using somebody else uh, like for like a clout too or like a step up and like i feel like you're in this someone who you're not interested in that type of energy and this is why somebody's more interested in you because they know that like you don't need them or like you're not somebody that be using people for like clout or money and you're not hungry for like attention and i feel like you stand out to somebody who is used to people being able to be bought being able to kind of like I don't know. Easily. Just easy. It says you're so damn beautiful inside and out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course. So. Somebody, I don't know. Somebody was accessory to like a crime. You got to shoot the club up. Somebody definitely wants to get, get you pregnant, friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They want to silence you. Speak up. Somebody could have even been like an accessory to a crime. I don't know. This could even be. Somebody could need to speak up about that. We got contracts out here here in NDA. Somebody could be like lashing out because of some form of truth that's about to come out. Somebody, something pertaining to essential oils is significant. We got the angel number 7227. Two, Somebody's definitely having car troubles. I feel like this is someone who's like very upset. We got January out here. Yeah, you guys... A month of January could be very significant. Okay, so somebody definitely needs to check themselves with car troubles. This could be like how somebody's getting like warnings. I'm seeing like little warnings is happening in somebody's life because they need to check themselves. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Like this is somebody who could have been planning y'all energy. Um after they were told to like get the fuck on, we would do not disturb. Like you guys not even wanted to be disturbed. Somebody definitely could be having car issues, car troubles, trouble getting around, point A to point B, called them out and brought it to light. Some of y'all are like calling people out on their bullshit. Something could be happening tonight. We got out for revenge. So yeah, I don't know. Be careful. Somebody could be out for revenge, but I feel like y'all are protected. It's nothing you really got to worry about. Um, it says, I think of you with others and it turns me on, head over heart. So somebody could have made a head over heart decision when it came to you, but this person um, definitely thinks about you with other people and it'll be turning this person on. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's somebody from your past, though. This is not someone who I feel like is supposed to be in your future. I don't know why I'm getting that. Defending somebody who's betraying them. Somebody could definitely been betraying Defending someone who was actually, like, betraying their ass. Maybe this is why somebody's wanting to come back around to you now. And we're going to see. But it says, they know you're stronger uh, than them. Your power scares them with sass younger. So y'all could have been in, like, with a younger Sagittarius. Or someone could have been dealing with, like, a younger Sagittarius. Um, and someone could have been found out, finding out that, like, somebody was getting played in the situation. You could have even tried to tell somebody, like, maybe they were getting played or, like, somebody wasn't. Mm. 
we got CPS, DCFS. Like somebody definitely could have got like CPS called on them. Or you could have got DP CPS called on you. But red hair, fighting, arguing. It could have been some form of fighting and that caused like an ending to a situation or somebody that like get DCS, DCFS called on them. Your beauty intimidates them. I do get for some of y'all, somebody wants to really like fuck with your life, really like get your kids taken from you too because you're very beautiful too. And like they could feel like somebody chose you over them. Um, and two, somebody just wants to like make it easy for you. Tell me how you want it. And I feel like this is in a sexual sense, but also like somebody just really wants you to like, again, like, they want you to tell them how you want, like it's something about somebody just wants to make something happen for you is what I'm getting slow and sensual. This could definitely be like sexually too. Like somebody wants to learn your body. They want to like, I'm just getting like inside and out. This person wants to be the one that know you on a sexual level, on a physical level, on a mental level, you know, spiritual level. We got blue hair out here. With blue car so somebody can have blue hair and blue a blue car okay blue you like blue or somebody may drive a blue car um so it says here i am not the things my family did i am not the voices in my head i am not the pieces of the brokenness inside i am light i am not the mistakes i have made or any of the things that cause me pain i am not the play the pieces of the brokenness inside i am light so understand that you are light baby they don't deserve another chance. Somebody really don't even deserve your time no more. If you were wondering, like, should you get somebody another, like, chance in your life? Like, this could be somebody. I feel like people who have hurt you, as in, like, they betrayed your trust. They did things to you that you wouldn't have done to them. As in, like, they put you in third parties. They've already shown you who they are. They 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 played on your time. They breadcrumb you. It's like, I don't feel like these people deserve your time because it's like they didn't, they didn't know then. They don't know now. And if they know now, then it's like... We well, should have known then. <laughs> but for some of y'all, I mean, you're going to have people wanting to come back around for another chances on you if you want to. Um, but big exposure, I feel like for some of y'all, you may not let certain people back in because it is going to be a lot being exposed to you through others or through proof that's coming your way, whatever way, shape, or form. I'm hearing like through dreams again, through just your own intuition. And then we got fairy or fae blood. Somebody here is very like magical too. And this is just why I feel like a lot of things, like shit just can't get past you. Like if I feel like if it ain't your ancestors, it's your fairies. They gonna reveal it and shit. We gotta I'll wait for it. I'm getting. I'm hearing. Wait for you by future. I'll be just fucking songs up. Let me stop. <laughs> That's uh Tim's and future. I'll wait for you. For you. You're about to be blessed, blessed, blessed. But somebody's prepared to wait for it. I'm here 40 plus. Somebody could be like in their 40s. Yeah, somebody's like, I'll wait for it. I don't care. I don't give a damn. Like, Because I do feel like for some of y'all, like, I ain't gonna lie. Seeing you just out here moving forward freely, it do got somebody just like... Mm. I do feel like for some of y'all too, you got like, if you were getting trolled online, some form of bullying online, I'm hearing like a false, something about like someone trying to come at you under your, your statuses, your platform, trolling you, bullying you. This person is pissed. I feel like somebody really irritated, like somebody really projecting onto you because you're glowing right now. Like you're really looking good. Like you're, you're shining. Somebody do not like that. And this person is, I heard they're doing whatever to try to dim your light. So it's just somebody who, if I could leave a comment and just the thought of you reading this comment and feeling some type of way, just don't like, bitch my collector don't get no fuck like I, that's what i'm feeling like the more that they try to like dim your light it's like your light just keeps growing and growing and you just keep like getting brighter and brighter and somebody can't stand it i feel like somebody's like oh this person ain't this person ain't what they seem to be this person ain't a light as you think they are they ain't, they ain't as cute as you i'm seeing like a big ass fucking hater like they not that cute they they not that cool they not that like girl are you okay <laughs> like that's the energy that i'm getting that's like like this is like people trying to get this is like people trying to gas like people about you like you are just very beautiful they're not that cute um are you seeing what i'm seeing like yeah people may have tried to gaslight you in the past out of your own intuition your truth or what you knew look airplane you can be getting on an airplane soon somebody may want to i heard fly you out i'm getting just the energy too dnd &D. like you you can have your phone on like airplane mode <laughs> but I'm definitely getting the energy of somebody not wanting to be bothered. You definitely could be catching a flight soon. You got bigger, better shit to be worried about. Um, somebody definitely could have been like gaslighting you. Very judgmental people. I feel like people judging you because of your light. Did you put a sex spell on me? I put a spell on you. What'd she say? Because you're mine. 
twin flame experience in dark night of the oh yeah 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 your twin flame baby this is what i'm getting for some of y'all you don't even know this is who's having this goddamn this whole reading i'm feeling like the person who just you like who is it this new person is rich boo or the person that for some of y'all i'm here i heard a honk outside it's like this twin flame that i do feel they're going through an awakening a dark night of the soul they're feeling like damn this person has to have put a love spell on me a sex spell on me i'm hearing for some of y'all you didn't even sleep with this person yet i'm here you say how the hell i put a sex spell on you we didn't even sleep with each other yet it's because this person is feeling shit that they ain't never felt for nobody else. It literally blowing their mind and they feel like, oh yeah, this got to be a spell. I don't, I don't get down like this is what I'm <laughs> sick and tired of letting shit slide. Some of y'all like in a whole new energy and somebody thinking you putting spells. I'm hearing that's what happened for some of y'all, even if you did sleep with this person, especially. That's what happens when, you know, you get that divine or <laughs> we're cool and unkind entity attachment for some of y'all these people who were look this is if i out on top of sick and tired of letting shit slide you were dealing with people who were very cruel and unkind because they had entity attachments these people weren't even in their right minds these people weren't even being ruled by their right fucking cells like their higher selves wasn't even in a seat it was another goddamn pilot taking charge right and that's them damn entities i'm hearing um it's not <laughs> I don't want to. I'm not hating on you. It's the parasites that are hating on you. I don't. I'm not irritated by your life. It's the parasites that are irritated by you. Like, you have to understand this. When someone is coming at you, they're constantly trolling you. They're constantly trying to dim your life. It's the parasites. It's the demons. So somebody could have definitely been attached or intertwined into some form of, like, illegal activity. I'm hearing for some of y'all, yeah, I am going to lie. This new love could even be, like, a bad boy, bad girl type of energy. I heard for somebody, Empress, you are the Empress. Um, We got new love and Empress out here. So just know, or this could have been like the past for y'all where that person was like a bad boy, but I'm feeling like, mm. but we got new love out here with Empress. Somebody that's coming towards you, this new love, Empress, you are in now in this Empress state. This is why you've aligned with this love. This is why you can now, like I'm hearing it's time for this love. It says, wow, confirmation. People going to talk whether you're doing bad or good. So do you, divine feminine or masculine? Who gives a fuck? Do you? It says you finna hit the jackpot. Some of y'all gonna be the ones that's this rich boo. I'm here. I am the money. Period. I'm okay being by myself. And this is why you know you don't really care who comes and goes. I'm here and I'm straight. I got money. You know, I love myself. Life's great. I'm glowing. I'm beautiful. Like, yeah. So you gotta just focus on yourself right now. You're not really I heard I'm not scared to be alone. Some of y'all got like nosy neighbors that be trying to like figure you out or see like what the fuck you got going on. They be all in your business. Somebody could have been, this could have been who called DCFS. I'm hearing, I just got that. Or you could have wondered like who told on you and like in a, uh, like uh, around like in a neighborhood or like in a, a complex. I'm hearing it was your neighbor. It was like a neighbor that's very nosy. They be all in your business or something like that. They could have heard like arguing or something. I'm feeling like a neighbor. I'm getting like a neighbor. Somebody name could be like Yolanda, Yell, Yelly, Nelly, Yell, Yelly. Uh, Yelena, Yelen, Yel. I don't know what I'm hearing. Lani or something. Leilani. Somebody's gonna end up needing your help. For some of y'all, says they need your help now. Fake profiles, fake numbers. Somebody was could have been trolling you behind fake profiles, fake numbers. For some of y'all, I do feel like this is someone who's been watching you behind like fake profiles and fake numbers because they could need your help. Could be a Gemini. Like somebody's gonna end up needing your help. Who could have even tried to like stunt on you at one point? Or make fun of you or they thought that they were like moving in a better direction especially if this was somebody who did put you in like third party or something with phoenix rising you could be a gemini um you're going through like a phoenix rising moment it says relax baby let me take care of your body what did i say somebody really just wants to learn your body this new love is going to be somebody i heard like past lovers were selfish with your body too like they just cared about like getting you know pleasure in themselves you guys have like shit starters in your energy you could have been surprised to know who was really the one starting the shit behind the scenes. We got a white car out here. We cold and detached. So this was someone who was very fucking two-faced. I'm hearing they would, you would wonder why somebody would pull their energy back or they would become so cold and detached. Some of y'all going to be surprised to find out that somebody really was playing both sides in the situation. Um, Somebody tried to take your light. They're not pure enough, though, it says here. So somebody really was trying to dim your light. It's just trying to stop, stop or siphon you, poison them. And you know what I'm getting again? Because we got the Phoenix rising out here, baby. So Source wants me to say this. That scene from that fucking apocalypse. Phoenix uh, apocalypse. I forgot what it's called. Um, X-Men apocalypse. When Jean Grey was like, um, no, that's not what the one. That's not the one. It's the, uh, wait, was it the one? No, it's not. I don't know. It's the one where it was like the alien race came. And I believe it might have been the one. 
um, the alien race was there and a the girl was uh, trying to take Jean Grey's power. She was basically saying, like, give it to me, girl. Like, shit, you don't know what to do with it. I can, I can, I know what to do. I, I would, girl, must have gave her them damn powers and her whole entire existence combusted. Like, I'm feeling like that's the energy I'm getting. Like, somebody's going to combust by trying to take on your light, trying to take on your energy. They trying to poison you or trying to siphon your power. But, baby, you're not even compatible with that energy force that you're trying to take on. Because you're not powerful enough for that. Your energetic DNA makeup ain't made for that. I'm feeling like it's in you. It ain't on or in them. <laughs> and that's what I'm getting with Black Heart here. So if someone was trying to poison your reputation, taint your reputation or dim your light, it's not going to work. I feel like your energy is too pure. Your vibration is too high. And somebody's just going to find themselves being like affected. I'm hearing like trying to affect you is really just going to, um, yeah, thrown off about you. Somebody was is going to be thrown off about you or they could have been trying to throw other people off about you. But what I'm getting is, I don't know why I'm getting like this lover kind of was thrown off about you too. Like you, you, your energy just throws people off because it's like you're just very different. They're not what you expect. You're not what they're expecting. This is a good reading. And blessings on blessings is coming your way. There were fake allies that were in a situation. Um, I do feel blackmail came out in reverse. If someone was trying to blackmail you or someone else to like stop some form of blessings from coming in, I do feel like this is why the situation is being like dismantled with Belle, Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, y'all about to meet y'all beast. <laughs> <laughs> we got all moving on i'm putting on my free i'm here in janae i echo baby that dress what you say that you hate it was my favorite said i look naked like that's the energy i'm getting like fuck what they think fuck their opinion like this could have been past lovers who it was always like why you got that on why you dressing like this what you wearing your hair like that today for like who you trying to look like cute for her? like it's just always was weird shit nagging energy i'm hearing like now you're gonna meet somebody that's like they're gonna do whatever like this that to keep a smile on your face and it's beauty and the beast and remember the beast had to go through his own test trials and tribulations to kind of like he had to deal with his own pride and ego and vanity too. So you and this person could have had y'all own tests that y'all went through where y'all are learning to like accept differences in each other. But I feel like this is like your match um, for some of y'all. I mean, that might be why it's going from like an enemies to lovers thing. I'm not saying that's for everybody, but I do feel like this, the beastly, remember the beast too? He was like, he owned like that. Damn, there was like, wasn't he like the prince or something or like the king or I don't know. Um, but it's the energy that I'm getting. Like you are going to be like meeting someone that's of a high value. Um, it says focus on taking care of yourself and moving into stability. And I'm getting like almost this is drawing suitors into you even more because you're not even out here chasing love or like my left eye is jumping now. <laughs> you're not out here heavily focused on love or chasing love. I wonder what that means. Um, and we got good at sex, bad at love because if some of y'all you could have been meeting people. It's given bad by Rihanna and, and Wale. I'm getting that. Um, is it that I never made love? No, I never did. But it's true, I had a got be a bad girl. I do it. Mm, I can't promise that I'll be good to you. Cause I had some issues. I won't commit, no, not having it. But at least I can admit that I'll be bad enough to you. To you. Yeah, I'll be good and bad. But I'll be bad to you, babe. I never made no. <laughs> so you humble them without knowing it. Like I said, some of y'all just out here being yourself, authentic as fuck, shining, baby. You speaking the truth. And whoever was lying or talking down about you, gossiping on you to them, it says because they want them to see you differently. This is why they were sending you a lot of evil eye projecting onto you. They want people to see you differently or a certain lover. They can't change someone's mind on you. And for some of y'all, you don't even realize you humbled like a, a person or like a group that was sitting here projecting onto you. And I don't know what this good at sex, bad at love energy. I do feel like somebody, it, whether it was you or this person, it's almost like somebody is like now wanting like love or like you know that you're not wanting this energy of just like people to just experience or like access your energy, especially like your sexual divine power and energy without like love being there it's like no it has to be some form of substance and it has to be longevity and this is why you got like divine justice coming in mm. chains and whips excite me snl rihanna chains and whips excite me i like it like it uh, let me stop I'm like, yeah that's the energy i'm getting like Maybe you're turning people on. You could be somebody who's into like S and M, like you or this lover. I'm getting like a very Christian gray. I don't know why I'm getting that like a Christian gray energy. This is someone who could have like a fucking red room, like <laughs> like a, mm, 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 mm. sending money blocks, money spells. Somebody was trying to like block somebody's money. I'm feeling like they was trying to do it. My ears are ringing through evil. I'm sitting like somebody staring at somebody like, oh, you're gonna lose your money, like bitch. Do better and check yourself into that hospital already. Okay. I feel like too. Um, no one can stop your abundance. 
some of y'all gonna have like, this new love man. I'm feeling like a Christian fucking gray. Like I'm telling you is what I'm getting. Cause it's this masculine that could have been good at sex and bad at love, or maybe they feel like you're the one that's like. But they, I'm somebody's into like this S and M energy or like BDSM or like I don't know. And someone, it's like somebody too is like I don't know. <laughs> Cause I don't know what I'm picking up on. I could feel it. Like somebody could even like. Think of you when they like touch themselves. Like so so sorry. I don't know. So you got people out here who look 911. Someone please call 911. Scary. Oh yeah, they gonna want to call 911. But you got people out here sorry. It says um there were oh yeah, oh you're sorry, you're sorry. Their worst fears are coming true. Yeah, we got love spells out here. Somebody gonna be sorry. Somebody was trying to use like a love spell. Oh, they're gonna be sorry. They're gonna be sorry. Because this shit could be backfiring. And this is going to be somebody's like worst fear. But some of y'all, you don't even understand. Like rejection was your protection. Like you, you dodged the bullet. If somebody rejected you or something like that. Somebody could even try to do a love spell on you. And try to make you like chase them to reject you. Or like, I don't know. But somebody's worst fear is going to be coming true. And somebody's going to be sorry that like they did you wrong or something like that. Because you got like a new love coming in. It's going to put your like exes to shame. Losing their stability, houses, cars, possession. And this is why something is like backfiring on somebody. Because they could have been, it could have been a karmic couple doing this. Could have been a karmic couple. Or this could have been like somebody that was having like a secret affair or something. Again, we got uh, essential oils, crystals out here. Somebody could be in like into like essential oils and crystal healing. You could sell your own crystals or like oils. Okay, so yeah, you guys are definitely of the light. Somebody's mad that they can't stop you. And I feel like this is why somebody was mocking and mimicking you. They were trying to like troll you, trigger you. Somebody could be getting like a DUI. Um, for some of you guys, it's some form of like the divine masculines. I do feel something pertaining to their, uh, the communication. That's, so divine masculine is the one that struggles with like, either like, um, and okay, so the divine masculine is good at sex, but like something about love or intimacy that they struggle with. But right now, the divine is letting the divine masculine know that it is safe to love your divine feminine. It is fucking 50 shades of gray. It's 50 shades of hot up in here right now because I'm telling you what I'm feeling. Somebody is Christian gray. Remember, he had like intimacy, like he had sex issues, even though that man was a fucking menace in the bedroom. But it's like when she would try to touch him and hold him and just be like, oh, can I just touch? He was like, uh-uh, like, what you doing? Like, get back. Like, I'm getting that type of energy, whether you're the divine masculine or feminine. Like, somebody could have been in this energy. Damn, is the cards rubbing off on my hand? That's exactly what's going on. Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> the ink from the cards is definitely rubbing off on my hand. So, I'm sure wondering, like, what the hell is going on? But, yeah. So, yeah, somebody's divine masculine struggles with, like, intimacy. This person could have sex wounds or the divine feminine. But I feel like this is someone who's being told, like, your person could be trusted. They're not, like, the past. They're not going to abuse your body, your love, your time, your energy. It says you will know she's your person. You uh, if It's safe to trust. Um, take that leap and speak your truth. Don't give up. Something about the song said... Something about divine masculine may feel like he's like, I don't know, giving up. It feels like he's like giving up a connection or like, oh, something is just too good to be true. But I feel like right now, um, her love is power. Listen to your heart. Whoa, before I came on here, I kept hearing listen to your heart. Something about like letting pride and ego go, okay? Divine masculines, a lot of y'all right now are changing big times for yourself, but not just for yourself, for your divine feminine. I heard rapid changing, and it could have even seemed like it was taking a long time, but like this is actually happening really quickly around this time. Um, but right now, I do feel like right now you're stepping up to be who you need to be for yourself, but also again, your divine feminine. And some of y'all are, I feel like some of some, some of the divine masculines are gonna take this chance. Some of them are just they're still in this energy of changing or they're sitting in their fears, but some of them are gonna be brave and just take a chance on love, is what I'm hearing. And it's, it says the Phoenix rising. So all of this shit is fucking com it's confirmation. Um, and it's all just coming. I heard it full circle. So you and your divine feminine are really mirroring. Stop ignoring the signs. There's a rebirth happening. Not everybody is going to make the cuts. So your masculine or like it could be people on both sides. Like I don't know if people getting cut off or like not making cuts. Karmic energies, whether this is friends, families, exes. Um, it's like the Hunger Games it says here. Wow. So that is definitely confirmation. Katniss could be significant. Twin flame version. Um, a lot of al alchemizing where the finish line. It's something about the finish line. You know how like, in a Hunger Games, like they all have to make it to like the end. You know what I'm getting too with the Hunger Games too? So what I'm getting with that too is like, uh, you know how Katniss was dating like, <laughs> she was dating. She wasn't dating Peter when she came in. Who was the other dude? Gail? 
I think that's who she was. I don't know if she was dating him, but that's who she damn near seemed like she was on that way. So they went into the heart guys by the end of that. She ended up marrying him or like having a kid with him. That's what I'm getting. I don't know. Hey, somebody may have even met someone. They were already with someone else. Or like, as you caught feelings for someone else, or like, this is how it happened with them. Maybe they were with someone else and they knew that their partner was like, jealousy, you is something. Hey, it's something here. And I feel like, um, Something pretending to the month of November, November is significant. Um, this is like the Hunger Games. Everybody is, I'm here in survival of the fittest. Everybody ain't making cuts. Never needed their approval. Yeah, you're somebody who you don't need people approval. You know who the fuck you are with angelic protection. You are so protected. Fuck their opinions. Come on now. Didn't I just say that? Car accident. I'm telling you, somebody, you could have gotten in a car accident, but you are still protected. But for some of y'all, this is why it happened to like someone else because like this could have been someone who would not stop fucking with you or they were warned plenty of times I'm here to leave you alone until something like almost tragic or fatal happened. And it's just, they were warned. I'm just hearing, like, I keep hearing they were warned. Some of y'all, if you were in this car accident, like you, it came out with angelic protection though. So you are very protected. We do have interracial relationships. So some of y'all, this is going to be like an interracial relationship. I just saw the pride card. Somebody could have been prideful to tell you how they feel. Um, but I do feel right now, there's an interracial relationship. That could be coming into view for some of y'all. Your boo is like another race. <laughs> older woman. So you could be like into like older women or you could be the older woman that somebody's into. We got celebrity, influencer, YouTuber, vlogger. So you could be in the public eye or like your person. We got all eyes on you. Especially if this is you though. Like, yeah. Um... Right now, you could be the person that's being, like, pushed into, like, the spotlight, some type of fame. It says acting like you're crazy as them. Yeah, people wanted to gaslight you, 999, something pretending to, um, somebody could be a nurse and work in a hospital, RN, nursing home. You got mother. Yeah, somebody's mother is significant. Could have been hiding. You could be hiding your emotions. Somebody's um, mother could be hiding. Or you could be, like, a mother figure. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, something pretending to you getting the last loud, boo. And I do feel with fake tears, people going to be, like, coming back around giving you, like, fake-ass tears. Or, like, it's not real. It's just because now they're sad that, like, you get the last laugh. Truck driver, CDL. So close. Keep going. Somebody could be trying to get their, like, CDL license I'm here. Like, keep going. I heard practice makes perfect. You could have had to take this test more than once. With STDs. Oh, sexually transmitted demons or... Sexually transmitted diseases. Either way, look, disgusting. I wouldn't... Look, some of y'all, it's someone that's going to come in your energy, but this person has, like, a STD. They can have, like, a sex addiction or, like, they literally got some shit. They contracted something. You know who this is, is what I heard. Or if you don't know who it is, it just be very careful because I hear they're real fucky fucky off rip. <laughs> so be careful with this person because this person is running to, like, give you something. Whether it's they want to give you an entity attachment or literally a disease. that, you, yeah. Whether you can get rid of it or not, I wouldn't even want that type of problem. Wrecking havoc. This is someone who wants to come in and look disgusted. You're dis you would be disgusted with this person. They want to come in and wrecking havoc. This is like a spiritual. It's given like a, like a demon or something. I would watch out for this fucker. Excuse me, Coyle Ray player. Yeah, so some of y'all, you could be divine feminine like you having a short way. I'm here in Burger King. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can have anybody, anybody mode because when you a boss, you can do what you want. Coyle Ray, because girls is players too. Keep it playing, baby. I'm here. Keep it P, okay? We push it P. And some of y'all got somebody that wants, it's, I'm giving like a hater. Like if you're a divine feminine or masculine, but especially divine feminine, you out here just like looking good. You having fun. You can be exploring your options. And that don't mean you out here having sex. Somebody damn near watching you and they want to like, it's like they want to, Knock you down a size by giving you something. I'm not even gonna lie. That's exactly how I'm hearing it. This person is well aware that they got like an STD for some of y'all. And I'm here, be careful too, because for somebody, they may not even know. And like, you just living your life, but be careful. Like, don't live too much now. Don't live too much on the air. We don't want to live like Larry. Because we, sh shit. Yeah, clarity and secrets revealed. Like, somebody may even be getting exposed for having an STD. Like, somebody has something here, and I feel like this is, like, some, you guys could be in the energy of, like, I don't know, this girl, this player, too, you could have anybody, man, I don't know, can even be a feminine out here, like, but I feel like you guys, especially if you are the divine feminine, like, keep it player, but, like, don't be out here, like, if you are gonna do something, wrap it up, and I wouldn't even, like, I don't know, just, make sure you ask for somebody's, like, papers, or, like, them, them to go get tested, is what I'm, what I'm hearing, stalking you on every platform, some of y'all got, like, people that be stalking you and heartbroken over you, literally, and these people can't get over you, I heard, once they get a taste of that, uh-huh, uh-huh. 
<laughs> so you got people heartbroken over you. They want another chance with you because they know that like they'll never find another like you. Once they got a taste of you, it's almost like they could never get you off their mind. These very people on here 10 years later to still be thinking of you because that's that divine feminine power. Especially if you slept with them all. Like, mm, they be thinking about you when they sleep and shit. Like, they can't get you off their mind. And that's why you got to be careful who you give it to, I'm hearing. Because just years later, these people will still kind of be, like, attached to you. And nothing's wrong with that, I'm saying. Like, but especially if these were people who couldn't do right by you, it's just like, then why are you still kind of, you know, and they're still not going to do it. Like, these are people who are heartbroken and maybe they feel like if they had the chance, they would. But friends with benefits, we can go at short pace. For some of y'all, y'all just got people just be like, can we at least be like friends with benefits? Some of y'all, you could have been okay with that at one point. Like, um, somebody does, I feel like y'all not wanting this type of energy though. I wouldn't want this type of energy because it's like, I want something long term and just secure. But if you guys are okay with that and okay, but somebody's like, we can go at short pace. I feel like this is someone who would be okay with like, we could be friends with benefits if you want to. We can be sneaky links or we could be in a relationship. It's really whatever you want to do. If you just want to keep it like on some like sneaky link shit, then we can do that. Or if you want to be in a... I feel like this is someone who's like, we can go at your pace, whatever you want. But look, once they're kicking and eat it too. So like I was saying, I already felt all bad when I was reading that friends with benefits. Like I genuinely wouldn't want that because this could be somebody who's like, they want to keep it like, okay, if you want to be friends with benefits, I'm cool with that. But of course you're cool with that because then that means you wouldn't have to commit. So just be careful of someone trying to kind of like... You know, keep the thing, like, I'm here, like, let's just keep it, like, open. Like, let's just see, like, where it goes. But it's like, no, you should have a plan with who you want to, like, if you know what you're wanting. Like, I know I want to, like, take this somewhere with you. I want to get to know you. I want to, but it's like somebody could just want to, like, keep it on a, like, open type of thing. Like, well, let's just be friends with benefits, like a hit and quit, like, type of energy. I would really be careful. And some of y'all, this person could have an STD. I'm not even going to lie. So just be careful of who's trying to get next to y'all. Oh, we got a new phone. I do feel like it's a couple energies. I don't feel like this is just one person. For some of you guys, you could have options because you got that Corey Ray energy. Divine Feminine got options. But it does not mean you're indulging in them or like, you know, you just know you got options. I'm hearing if you wanted, you wanted to, you could. But, you know, it says no one has to know. I promise. It's definitely giving like, I don't know, somebody wants to keep like a sneaky link. But it says wanted to distort their view of you. So there was someone who was like gossiping about y'all from the past. I'm hearing it. You're going to hear about this. Like, I am going to lie. Somebody may be like, this is coming out. Like, done compromising. You're putting you first. For some of y'all, like, this is why you no longer like, you're like, no, I'm not sneaking linking with nobody. I'm not going to be your friends with benefits. I'm not going to let you access me when you want to. Because all of this, like, this is too good. I know what I bring to the table in the bed. Like, that's, I just, I can't just let you get a little access. I can't just let you get a little, what is it called? A little taste? A little, what is it? A trial? Like, no, this is too good to just, this is something exclusive, baby. You got to be locked in, twin, to even get over here like that. Because you know how people... I just saw one, 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 one. Like, you know, people just be different. It's like you send people through awakenings after they access your energy and they can't handle it. And it's like, you be like, damn, I done did it again. I'm here. Oops, I did it again. I play with your heart. Got lost in a game. Ooh, baby, baby. Oops, I. Mm -hmm. Yin and yang that I was sent from. Uh, so for some of y'all, people could even feel like you played them in the end or you played with their emotions. But it's like, no, you saw the red flags. You saw what you needed to see. I'm here and I saw what I needed to see. Yeah. And you're going to be meeting somebody that's like yin to your yang, the yang to your yin. Like y'all are just going to really mesh well. And again, I just feel like this is going to be somebody that puts like everybody from your past just to shame. I'm here to stick with you. Pussycat dolls. I'm scared they might harm me or you. Yeah, I don't know if somebody was afraid to kind of like tell you what was going on in the situation because of a karmic that kind of was very spiteful. This person could have been like trying to, you know, almost like protect you by not coming towards you because of a, a very spiteful ass karmic that was like threatening maybe to out them to you or out something that was being said or just fuck some shit up for you. This could be somebody who's like, very aggressive or very like this could have been somebody who was tied into some illegal shit for some of y'all and this person could have known about it again said somebody knew that somebody that they were with was jealous or and i feel like somebody could have been afraid like if i come to you and i tell you like some form of truth or like i tell you you know things that maybe you didn't know what the enemies to lovers like somebody could have been afraid that like somebody was going to kind of like retaliate of what they would do i'm here not just to me but to you too like um not me but like you know i'm hearing this person like they're seeing like not just them but like you as well that could have been what was going through. Like, they were afraid of, like, somebody's very spiteful is what I'm getting. Like, and they 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 know this. Um, It says, 
you weren't there when it happened soul connection so you and someone else have like a very strong soul tie or soul connection not just tie it says monitoring spirits and this could have been why maybe monitoring spirits were like watching two people or just a, a connection period or when it comes in some of y'all just going to be realizing like you got monitoring spirits that are be trying to peek into your life especially if you are in the public eye because we have flies gnats beetles some of y'all just gonna start seeing like insects bugs and shit and you're like what the fuck is going on with health issues some of y'all this is what the karmics are released are are experiencing we're releasing karmic ties like they're experiencing a lot of because they were monitoring spirits trying to stop you by projecting and using like just weird manipulation tactics and they're now experiencing health issues they ain't feeling too well with releasing karmic ties i heard once you release these karmic energies that's when their karma set in whether the divine masculine or feminine release them it's just given that that's when the karmics start experiencing their karma because they were literally what parasites the parasites they were feeding off of your divine energy the parasites okay and we gotta get in my bed so for some of y'all ain't gonna lie you got people out here just wants to like put you in a bed i'm feeling like cuddle season i'm hearing um i'm just feeling like for some of y'all you like no i'm waiting on my new i'm waiting on my you know intuitively like that someone is coming for you like this new love i just feel like so self-love, pamper, ba balance. I'm feeling like rather than giving yourself to temporary people for temporary happiness, you're like, I'm just going to wait for my person, you know? Because I'm not, I'm not trying to, yeah, divine feminine. Oh, my fucking God. It says divine feminine. It is okay to wait for what you deserve, especially if you're on the twin flame journey and all that comes with this emotional roller coaster. Now is not the time to focus. Now is the time to focus on your passion and elevating in your purpose. Your past does not define you. Many blindfolds are falling off and many will try to guilt trip or make you feel like you are wrong. But it's all illusions. Know thy heart and thyself. Right now, divine feminine, your main priority should be yourself. Shifting your focus from distractions. God damn it, this is is this not a confirmation to yourself and healing? Elevation is so on. Um, more aligned that you become the it's, so I'm, I, I put the world card on here because I guess I was channeling the world card. So something about completion, success, lessons learned, asking yourself what it is that you are really wanting. Put yourself on your knees first. It says stand your ground. So divine feminine, this is about you. You stand your ground. It ain't about what the fuck people want no more out of you because you gave them all you had and they wasn't satisfied with it. Right now, people are learning to respect you and how you come in because you're changing is what I'm getting. So some of y'all, I don't know. It says I got caught lusting over you. Somebody may have even got caught by like their partner or somebody that they were interested in lusting over you. Stress working. I feel like somebody stress works when they try to like, I cannot believe this. Why would this marker do this on my hands? Like y'all could tell like this got green and shit. Like I just, I just, I just, I just can't. So I don't know. Some of y'all could even found out, like, maybe you found out about a third party that you were familiar with. Like, you knew this person. I just feel like this was, like, your wake-up call is what I'm hearing. Like, it could have hurt even more with red car. Somebody definitely could drive a red car. It says, when you find out about this, you will be done. That's the cycle. I'm feeling like that's what's closing out. That karmic, that was a karmic cycle. This person that you could, they could have put you in a third party with, like, somebody that you knew. Like, you could have known, like, a karmic third party. Um, and this is why somebody's karma is going to be so fucking crude. Like, it's just going to be so fucking heavy. Like, it's just going to eat their ass up because I'm here. It's just the way that they did what they did, what they, it's all of it. Like, it's what they did, it's how they did it, it's who they did it with, who they did it to. Oh, yeah, heavy Libra energy. We got double Libra energy out here. So, I do feel for some of y'all, you, yeah, the truth is going to be revealed. Um, it says they're the reason you lost that job, money, opportunity, secretly blocking you. They never wanted you to win. Watch them, release them. For some of y'all, you had someone in your energy that was working against you the entire time. This person could have been calling up to your job. I heard DCFS. Like, somebody was a secret hater in your energy the entire time, hating on you under your nose. Under your fucking nose. And this person was doing a lot to block you, to get opportunities taken from you, to, to sabotage love situations I'm hearing. You just, baby, if only you knew the full extent to what the fuck somebody was doing. And I feel like, too, it says already been forgiven, won't block my blessings. You could have already, like, found out about this and you like, I forgive this person, the situation, because I know I got bigger and better things. The divine got bigger and better plans for me. But I feel like for some of y'all, yep. Um, possessive you could have been dealing with somebody that was a clown like a very possessive ass clown but they couldn't do right by you and i feel like this new boo gonna be like possessive but they're gonna do right by you and that's the difference like you had clowns in the past who wanted to like control you be possessive and shit but they they were out here trying to have it their way like what the fuck is this like motherfuckers thought this was what burger king for real clowns clowns ronald mcdonald's seriously who wanted to have their cake and eat it too didn't know you were you not waiting to be chosen you are chosen by the divine and by this counterpart it says before you underestimate me know that i'm him slash her yeah him herbo yeah you you no longer are like you're no longer 
in the dark about a situation that you kind of knew yeah it doesn't add up you knew something that somebody was telling you you could have been like why then if you don't know this person then how come like it's just something that somebody was telling you didn't add up and you knew that you maybe you knew somebody but they didn't know that it's like something that wasn't adding up you knew what was going on but maybe you were like confused there was a lot of fog and now you see clearly with ace of swords come on now it doesn't add up and underneath it is the ace of swords because you got the truth. I'm hearing it don't add up because you know the truth. Gossip and tea. And it could have been gossip. The energy of like the, the cheating and scandals of, you know, the rumors of cheating and all that shit that card said. I feel like this is what someone is like you or someone else is realizing like, damn, like this shit is true. Like somebody's damn near having like a awakening about all this shit that's been going on around them. And I feel like um somebody may have even been being gang stalked with like a third by a third party that was like you knew this person and it's like eventually you started to realize that something wasn't adding up somebody feels like something is not over between y'all I, I do feel like that's their enemies to lovers we got jail time legal issues they look motherfucking tired for some of y'all this you gonna see somebody get like locked up and this was their karma because i feel that someone they were doing a lot behind your back and trying to like make you feel like you were the crazy one and I'm damn near feel like if somebody is like, it's like you're going to move on and that's going to be their karma. Whether that is a spiritual jail or like physical jail with what did you do to me? I'm just getting again, like your energy is so potent, especially like you be having people thinking you put love spells on them, darling, and you don't. It says you're so damn beautiful inside and out. Yeah. And people may be feeling like, oh my God, you put a love spell. Like, did you put a love spell? I'm like, no. It's just that energy. It says they can't get nothing past you with idol. You're a lot of people's idol too. Like a lot of people idolize you and just put you on a pedestal. That's that energy. Keeping up with the Joneses. Like people just want to be like you, move like you, talk like you. It says, yeah, this ain't it at all. That's why, you know, somebody couldn't get nothing past you because you're, I heard like your, your radar, like it was always going off. Like you're, you just knew that like somebody was always bullshitting. Like it just wasn't the truth. Like that's what I'm getting. Like they just knew that too. We got slept with your hater. This is someone who slept with a hater of y'all. I'm feeling like when this come out, you could have never fully known of like somebody was telling the truth but like i heard intuitively your intuition has always told you what was tea but we have high level purpose powerful important calling on your life some of y'all have to realize that like you were standing in a situation with somebody who's always going to be in the same position like the car made them and and it's like you were meant for much more this is why source was moving you out of that entire dynamic and someone it's like now they're going to be sitting there like forever heartbroken somewhere sitting behind bars for some of y'all um it, they can't do it like you, and that's why they're mad. Even if a karmic was trying to take your person, take your something that you were doing, steal your light, steal your abundance, somebody can't do it like you. I, I'm here. It don't matter if they try to move in your exact footsteps. Because, yeah, admiring you. You have real admirers out here. Um, we got cloud chaser, scammer, and con artist. So, yeah, you guys have people that were in your energies that are like frauds, cons, cloud chasing. And you're the real deal. We got divine feminine. You are clearing away karmic debts, parasites, literally entities dying off. The host is no longer available to them. Wow. Burdens, heaviness being lifted, illusions blown away, self-love, self-care. Other burdens and debts, fears surrounding money, write them out so that they can no longer control you. Release self-doubt. For some of y'all, you're going to really realize like you were right the entire time about a situation that you were picking up on, what someone was doing behind your back too. And this is going to push you so much into like your purpose too and um, really loving yourself, really admiring yourself. I heard the chains are falling away. Those parasites can no longer feed off of you and you're going to see someone literally like perish. Once you like get them out of your energy, I'm here and disintegrate because this person, you don't realize they were taking your energy, your divine energy and going to like other situations or things outside of you especially people who were hating on you you had a lover who were who knew certain women i'm hearing for some of y'all or people were hating on you and they would literally go link up with these people and sleep with them or like be sexual pillow talk to them because it gave them an ego boost to know that these people did not like you and that they could like hear like it's, it's it was a weird dynamic or somebody in particular like they they slept with this person because like it made them both feel like they had one up over you and i'm sorry that you had to experience that um but just understand you're gonna be winning in their faces regardless Thick. and we got um facing fears you guys could be of a thicker body body type facing your fears or someone else involved could have been um trying to intercept your blessings and cloaking their energy this was someone who was always trying to stay hidden or in the dark they were trying to intercept your blessings while wearing a mask like this is someone who was trying to scary as hell like they would never do this shit to your face but or oh, they're doing a whole bunch of shit behind the scenes to try to stop you yeah, some of you guys, we really like to dress. Like, you dress up, you really look good. Dress to impress you into, like, fashion or something. We got livid. If somebody's mad, you be looking good, too. I mean, no matter what they try to do, like, you still pop out looking good, looking cute. 
somebody could be trying to i heard copy your fashion sense like somebody's trying to like dress like you look like you to get someone's attention who could have cut them off i'm hearing or like gave them some type of time of day or whatever it says this ended so something else better could begin with domestic violence for some of y'all you were dealing with someone who was like abusive too like very domestic like it i mean very like abusive and very like neglectful and very aggressive i'm hearing and I feel like right now you guys are being told this had to end so that this rich boo, this next boo, this higher love could come in for you guys with boss. This next person could be their own boss or you are. Like I heard we both bosses. Like that's the energy. Wow. Perfectly aligned and divine. You and this person could be like bosses, entrepreneurs, or y'all both in a leadership boss like energy. And I feel like y'all were both guided to each other or being guided to each other. So whatever that past situation was, you're going to be so fucking happy that you let that shit go because you and your person are like chosen for each other, this higher level purpose. And you guys are both perfectly aligned and divine so you guys are going to have uh, all this together with this person physical mental and spiritual orgasms if i heard some of y'all have never had a real orgasm through like pen penetration or just like period like on these levels that this new person is coming into your life because they're your true like twin or like soulmates I love your smile. Like, they're going to love everything about you from your head to your toe is what I'm hearing. And they're going to give you full-on, like, bliss inside and out. So, I saw the card that said divine masculine and a karmic is attracted to divine feminine. And for some of y'all, this is why somebody slept with your hater. Because it was a weird attraction on both ends. Like, the karma that they slept with that was hating on you. She like you, too, or something like that. Or, like, it was something weird going on here. And it's just sick. Like, you you are deserving of much more than this. You could be a Capricorn or someone was dealing with one. You're deserving of so much more than that situation, baby. I feel like this next person that's coming in, I'm telling you, like, here to stay. Here to stay. It says they didn't want you to be stable because they wanted you to be beneath them, competing and don't want what's best for you. Somebody, someone didn't even want to see you get on, like, a, a higher level or find your footing or, like, Somebody could have just wanted to keep you too. For some of y'all, they wanted to keep you as like a fling, to keep you waiting around. Um, but that's not going to happen. We got cancer. Like you could be a Capricorn with cancer in your chart. <laughs> or a cancer or a Capricorn with false statements. There were definitely false statements going around. But I feel like all of this is going to be cleared up. Somebody could even be trying to make it seem like you was going to use somebody or you were a user. We got Taurus out here. I feel like what's the truth is all being revealed. Somebody know that if the truth came out, if you were to find out what somebody was saying or doing about you, which you will, you're going to want to whoop this person's ass is what I'm hearing. For some of y'all, you could have a temper. And even if you weren't the type of person that are like, I, I don't really put my hands on people. I'm hearing like, it's something about somebody sleeping with somebody's hater and someone saying something about you. Now, that's not for everybody. But if you found out the true scope of what was going around or like, yeah, like I'm feeling like gossip or something, you would want to beat somebody's ass. It says they all can't stop watching Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine fans and obsessed. And then look, Divine Masculine and Karmic are both attracted to Divine Feminine. So I'm telling you, your Divine Masculine linked up with a Karmic that was attracted to you too. Or they could have already been with this person before they met you. They're both secretly attracted to your ass. And it's, it's something sick going on. When they be sleeping with this person, they be thinking of you and the Karmic be thinking of you. Like, it's all fucking weird. It's all fucking weird. And this, this Masculine, for some of y'all, I'm telling you, your Divine Masculine is sitting here in regret. He don't sound too divine to me, but... It says your energy is in regret of masculine because you could have chosen somebody else over your feminine or you just didn't speak up on how you feel, divine masculine. I could have a divine masculine watching or cross-watching, but it's definitely telling me that somebody is deep down feeling regret. A lot of regret for either something that they did to their divine feminine or didn't do, didn't say, disgusted. This divine masculine be disgusted in his own self and how he treated his feminine or how he treat. It's just, or you could be disgusted with this entire situation, divine feminine. It says, look good, taste even better. Yeah, baby, you out here looking good. People know you taste even better. But people had to learn the hard way when it came to you, when it came to playing around in your energy, when it came to breadcrumbing you, when it came to sitting here feeling like they can they can ghost you and, and, and breadcrumb or whatever, feeling like they can have their cake and eat it too. People learned the hard way because once they can't access you no more, that's when they start to realize, damn, I love this person. Damn, maybe I should change. Damn, like, damn, maybe it's too late. So some of y'all, this someone's family or friends was the ones actually doing like the gossiping or like spell work. Somebody may be going on a road trip soon. Um, somebody really likes your wild side. I heard somebody likes when you get in like that more like dark energy or shadow. Like somebody could be like, you're of the light. But when you tap into like that dark side or when like, this is what I'm saying. You could be somebody like, I, I'm not going to put my hands on nobody. I'm not usually the type. But like, remember I said, like if you found out, like you would, somebody likes when you get in like that energy of like your wild side or like your shadow side. I even heard like your freakier side, like that more sexual like somebody really likes that side of you um but you could be someone who like you don't really showcase all of that like you just you're more i heard reserved um you could have gotten an order of protection on someone um yeah you guys are done with trauma bonds one more card so i can close this reading out source some of y'all could have been dealing with um an older man in the situation 
you could have been dealing with an older man or because i saw that older woman card too older, so either way older man older woman i'm gonna get one more card i don't want to leave it there so uh, the last two cards princess tiana whatever this blessing is it says hard work dedication you worked hard for this it's just giving that almost there energy okay so you had your fair share of trials and tribulations but baby you're almost there this is also themes of voodoo and hoodoo somebody could have definitely been trying to like send things your way friends on the other side type of energy things i ain't even tried but like all the things you ain't tried yet for to come back and bite in your ass you might want to go ahead and check yourself before you wreck yourself we gotta love that ass baby <laughs> i'm here you know you're doing that shit on purpose baby <laughs> so somebody really loves your frame they love your body shape whether you are petite or thicker they just love your ass whatever you got going on they love it about you okay with this princess tiana energy i feel like you've worked hard for everything that's coming your way remember she still got her prince in the end so you might have had to kiss a couple frogs to get to this point or get to this abundance get to this foundation this love that's coming in but i'm feeling like your prince is on the way baby your prince is on the way and it's giving me the energy of like spell where like definitely was being done to try to stop someone's progression or their foundation or their purpose. But baby, it's just we've seen it time and time again. The villain never wins. Okay, somebody can have locks or dreads. I'm hearing somebody's person like your masculine can have locks or dreads or um, you could with Gemini here. Somebody could be a Gemini. But I definitely get, uh, yeah, you meant to have like children with this person or you could have children with this person. Um, you could be a Gemini. But I definitely get yes, baby. I feel like your person is coming in. I know y'all don't like to hear the dreads part. So locks, they can have locks or you can have locks. Um, Again, children. Like you're meant to have like children with this person for some of y'all. And um, this is going to be happening soon. So I'm hearing like, yeah, keep your options open. But also just be very discernful because you're going to know who's for you and who's not. And especially like who you should not be connected to. I'm seeing new love come in for you guys. And I'm hoping that this reading revealed to you what you needed to know. Until next time, I love you guys.